everyone i am monica from miles 9 so i am going to discuss how to write or add examples in essay so examples where we need to put with uh, in body paragraphs so after, there are four paragraphs you know it first is introduction okay uh, second one is body one body paragraph one and then two and then conclusion so in body one also in body two also you need to add one example okay one example here one example here and some students are adding examples after every uh, every point so no need to add two two example in one paragraph you can always add one example in uh, one body paragraph okay so now what other words we can use it for examples so you can use the word to illustrate it for instance such as to cite an example or you can just suppose you are giving a example of any person any personality then you can name uh, here that person name and and say is a prime example of uh, uh, famous personality in my nation so you can uh, you can just take any name you can just pick any vocabulary from here and then you can start your example now point here is what kind of examples we need to give so some people are only confused they are asking uh, we need to uh, we need to put always survey kind of things or study kind of thing or we can uh, there are sometimes some students are asking about personal examples so i will just write it here then i will just correct which one is personal example which one we can use personal example study or survey okay or any um, any uh, any person's example famous personality example i mean to say personality or celebrity example okay or you can use the example you can use the if sentence if conditional sentence for giving any example for explaining your point of view you can use conditional sentence from if okay so now i will go now i am saying personal examples you should avoid it uh, you can use these personal examples once or twice in your speaking but normally normally you should not use personal example if you don't have any any example you can't explain it uh, to the uh, globally level then you can use your friend or cousin or personal in fact nothing is better than writing something so that's why in that situation you can use personal example otherwise no personal example in writing task too and study or survey you can put but in every body paragraph if you are just giving study or survey in body one then try to avoid in body two here you can give general example if you don't do not have any other general example then you, you go ahead with survey or study kind of thing okay now personality example so personality if you want to show that uh, that person that personality or that celebrity had done so much hard work in his life and all then you can always give his example with the, the like uh, you can give any any person any celebrity name is a prime example in this context in this in this idea so let's i will show you how to write any uh, example in in essay now my, look at my first example so there are many ways you can write examples first one is you can see this for instance a recent report in business so how you can add your uh, you can add your this thing example so there are some language you can use it you can just copy it a recent report in business weekly magazine indicated so here you can put m capital and w capital so this is weekly business weekly magazine indicated so this is important word to add uh, when you are just using the survey or uh, survey or report kind of thing indicated that the number of students uh, sorry uh, the will not come come here no 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 the will come here the number of students opting study abroad has risen considerably due to low cost of flight tickets and easy visa role, rules so in in uh, so how i am using it so first i will be explaining this point indirectly and then direct uh, then i will uh, just explain this example that in this con context a recent report in business weekly magazine indicated that the 
number of students opting study abroad has risen considerably uh, due to low cost of flight tickets and easy visa role so some students are using here percentage uh, for showing the uh, for showing this data so you can use it but don't use too much too much figurative figure kind of thing in writing task too okay now i will show you another example now you can see this my another example to illustrate a recent report to illustrate it you can use it a recent report in international news agency you can just keep it here news agency indicated that so use these this verb also indicated that the large number of shoppers making purchases online has risen by 61% due to low cost and free delivery so here also you can use percentage has risen by 61 or 50% whatever the figure you want to show uh, due to these are the reason due to low cost of flights and easy visa rules and here what i have written on uh, shoppers making purchases online has risen by 61% due to low cost and free delivery charges okay so th this way you can uh, use the uh, example you can give any survey use this language very important language for showing your uh, complex sentence and, and all so it's a good impressive example you can give but it should look like that it is natural it should not be too uh, fake kind of thing it should not look like that okay now coming to the next type of example you can take screenshot of it this also this also you can see this okay so next type of example my next type of example you can see this to cite an example a weekly times magazines states that around 60% of children above behave aggressively when they watch their parents behavior behaving so so here when uh, when there is a when there is an essay regarding children misbehaving and, and all you can always give a weekly times magazine states that mm, around 60% of children behave aggressively when they watch their parents behavior so this is also a survey kind of thing you can use it in your uh, essay okay now coming to the next now here i will show you first the question statement and then we will be uh, discussing the examples let's read the question statement children often learn from their parents around then subconsciously discuss when they learn sorry what they learn and what should be taught to them children often learn from their parents around the around then subconsciously so that example i have used it for that but still i have another example to show you uh, children often learn from their parents around them subconsciously discuss what they learn and what should be taught so i am reading question statement twice or thrice so that i should come to know the meaning of the statement the main topic what i am going to explain it now coming to the example to illustrate uh, approximately 40% of teenagers inculcate uh, the habit of having drugs and liquor by watching their parents okay so this example you can always use it in body 1 or 2 wherever you want to just what they learn so what they learn means approximately 40% of teenagers inculcate the habit of having drugs and liquor uh, by watching their parents so this also you can use it to cite an example a weekly times magazine states that around 60% of children behave uh, no this is for different question or here you can just change the words here like i have inculcate the habit of having drugs and all or behaving aggressively when they watch their parents same 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 for uh, same example and same example for this question only okay so for this question you can use this or this so but not uh, i would not say that you will be using this uh, in body 1 and this in body 2 no so use only a survey kind of thing in one body paragraph now coming to uh, another kind of example i am going to show it to you you can see this for instance i have used another word a recent report in mirror international magazine so this name also you can uh, take it this is also international magazine from us indicated that the number of children consuming liquor liquor and drugs has risen considerably due to their parents habit and society members so this way you can give the survey or this way also you can give the survey for the same 
क्वेश्चन स्टेटमेंट वट चिल्ड्रन लर्न फ्रॉम देयर पेरेंट्स अराउंड सब कॉन्शियसली सो यू कैन गिव दिस ऑल्सो और यू कैन यूज दिस दिस इज जनरल काइंड ऑफ थिंग एंड बेटर सेंटेंस स्ट्रक्चर इज दिस इंडिकेटेड दैट द नंबर ऑफ चिल्ड्रन कंज्यूमिंग लेकर हैज राइजन कंसिडरेबली ड्यू टू पेरेंट्स लुक सो यू कैन लर्न दिस सेंटेंस स्ट्रक्चर फॉर गिविंग एग्जाम्पल नाउ द लास्ट लास्ट वन how uh, how i have used for fa any famous celebrity example suppose the question statement says some people think that violent sports such as martial art martial arts or boxing should be banned from international competition to what extent do you agree or disagree so i agree with the statement and i will be explaining the reasons for my agreement okay let's read it again some people think that violent sports such as martial arts or boxing should be banned from international competition so i totally agree with that so what example we can use it for instance mohammad ali so spelling is wrong one one word is missing uh, you can just change it mohammad ali who was an olympic and world champion developed brain damage from his five from his fights and developed serious health concern such as cancer blood clots in his body or brain there are many other cases similar to this in this world okay so you can uh, you can give any pers any celebrity example also to uh, to uh, just show your arguments how you uh, what you want to say here okay you can see and another sentence structure also you can use muhammad ali was a prime example um, was a prime example who uh, who uh, who developed brain damage from his fights and same thing you can write it so there are two ways you can use per, uh, any famous personality or celebrity example for instance this and this and uh, was a prime example who who developed brain damage and all so this way you can always add example thank you so much for watching